Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can use the find and replace function to transpose any two words. So you see from my page that I have a, um, a list of names, the surnames first and the first names last. But we want it the other way around. So instead of it reading Smith, Claire or Jones, Tom, we want Claire Smith and Tom Jones. I mean, you can just do this by physically highlighting the word and dragging and, and moving it, but it is quite slow and tedious to do that. What you can do is use the search and replace function within words to do this in one quick easy way, basically. So what we'll do, control H, open the find and replace dialog box, or you can just go to the home tab here, uh, editing, you can find it here as well. And just click replace. And we can expand it to click on more. Basically, what we've got basically are, are just two words that needs transposing. So you need to type in a particular string. So basically, it's less than sign, asterisk, meaning containing any, any characters, any word. And we're going to close that. We've got a space because there's a space between the, the names. And then we will repeat the same, the same string here. It basically, it tells us that it's, it's just like basically looking for any two words. What we need to do though is to order. We need to put order to this to the sequence. So how you put order to a sequence in the search and replace is by using brackets. I'm going to put brackets around the first the first word. That just shows you that that's one sequence. We'll put brackets around the second word, and that will show you that it's the second sequence. So the reason that you use the round brackets is to divide the pattern into logical sequences where you want to reorder the sequences in a different different order when you doing the replace function. Basically, this one represents the first word, this one represents the second word. As we want to replace the second word with the first, we're going to use backslash two, so that the second word comes first, space, backslash one, to say that we want the first word to come afterwards. We're going to click on wildcards, use wildcards. If you don't click on use wildcards, it doesn't work. And then we're going to do replace all. As you can see, all done, we've made 12, 12 replacements. So if you look here, you can see Claire Jones, Tom jo sorry, Claire Smith, Tom Jones, David, David Williams, it's all done it for you. This is a really quick and easy way, simple way of ordering this. You can also do this in tables. So if you've got a table, if you pull something from Excel, for instance, you can just highlight it and you can just use the same, the same method. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please do come back for more.